everybody laura from the rebellious garden taking you on a walk with me to the big garden at my neighbor's house to cut some flowers there is the garden from my house behind me you can see the little arch oh and i need to hurry up it's raining it's starting to rain yay i'm not complaining about this rain one bit i have been praying praying for rain the garden does fine when i water it with the water hose but we all know nothing compares to a little bit of rain So it's about 8.30. You've seen my photos this past week about uh, harvesting in the dark because of work and everything else. Like today, I'm gonna cut while I talk. Um, like today, I, I worked and then as soon as, little Cosmo, as soon as I got off work, I came home, made a bouquet, delivered a bouquet and then did a quick grocery run cooked supper and now i'm outside which the way the heat is as of recent it's better to wait until the sun starts going down because it is entirely too hot out here when the sun's out very bright lightning. I'm going in. Semi-quickly. 
trying to get back to the house. Got a few zinnias, some basil, and some cosmos. And I've got a ton of zinnias to cut here at the house. But with that lightning, I'm gonna go inside. Approach. I can't help but show you the garden in our yard. Ooh, okay, I need to go in. <laughs> but lots of zinnias. All right, I'm going in. <laughs> Underneath the carport, the flowers that I started cutting at my neighbor's house, I couldn't finish because of the lightning. So I was gonna take you for a whole little, hey, come cut flowers with me tonight, but I guess it didn't work out. Still gonna post this, just so y'all can kinda see what a little nighttime routine is for me. The seedlings real quick, lettuce. Spinach, it's too hot for it to really sprout. I only have like two sprouts. Brussels sprouts. Kale. More flower seeds. A lot of these seedlings need to go out to the garden. Those flower seedlings desperately do. And we've got, we have broccoli and cauliflower. Things like that up here. That one tray hasn't sprouted yet. But we'll have those seedlings available soon for your fall and winter garden. We have, for the most part, mild winters. So um, you can keep most of those cooler weather vegetables growing over the um, course of the late fall, early winter months. Come like January, February, when we start getting into our bitter cold temps, and that's when we typically have our once a year snow or ice event. Um, you'll have some stuff that won't survive. But I have a kale plant here that's like two, maybe three years old now. I don't cover it, anything like that. It bounces back every time. So if you are interested in doing a fall or winter garden, definitely um, check back here probably end of the month, end of August, beginning of September, and the seedlings should be ready to go into, ooh, that was very, very bright lightning. And, the seedlings should be ready to go into your garden. I'm gonna go inside and uh, get out of this, this lightning and look at the radar and see when this clears so I can go out and start picking by flashlight. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to check back here shortly for another little update video.